Hey guys, welcome to another one of my tutorials on Banjo Kazooie. This one is over the Sky Crane helicopter. Just give you a look over it. This one's pretty cool because in single player can detach and you can drive around the tank, so it's just not just a plain helicopter. So let's get started. Let's start with the in internals. Okay, the inside of it's really nothing special. You could probably just do whatever you want to. You don't have to do exactly how it is in my vehicle. It basically just has some jets and fuel and the tow bars I'll get to later. So, oh, there you go, tow bar. <laughs> okay, that part, not the much. A couple medium fuels. You'll have, probably have to pause it to get a better look at it. Oh. And to drop stuff, you pick it up and press LB. Cause I know people have been asking me about that. So I'll say it now. LB. Okay. Uh, small jet. Tow bar. Two super fuels. And a small jet. As I said, really nothing special. You can just throw them in there however you want. Because the inside's just basically hollow. Okay, here's the rotor, not the propeller, the rotor of the helicopter. It has two sucking blows, one facing a different direction to make the hel to make the rotor spin. <clears throat> Grabbing that so we can get it out of the way. I said LB to drop it. Okay, just grabbing the last piece. Hopefully. Okay. It's like seven or eight pieces long. You can pretty much do, do it however long you want. What the trick is making it short enough so it won't hit the back tail rotor, which happens a lot with this one. Probably need to make it a uh, one piece shorter. Okay, now we're in the cockpit. We're hollowing it out so we can see what's inside. Outside, pretty basic. Got some cubes and wedges really nothing much they exploded oh okay. cuz this is my single player version the seat is actually in the tank so you're able to drive it but when I'm doing Xbox live that's where the seat is cuz there's no tank and I'll show you what the difference is at the end of the video with the multiplayer version okay the main body wedges cubes. Uh, aren't they called some different like squares or boxes? I don't know. I haven't played this game in a few months now. Just wanted to make a tutorial because someone asked. Okay, the leg. It's basically this wedge, upside down wedge, wedge, and uh, another block or a cube. And I like the high grip wheels for helicopters. Cause they look a little more realistic and helicopter copter -y compared to super wheels. They seem a little more futuristic than modern helicopters. Okay, there's a tail rotor I was talking about on the left. Then looks like a cross. Okay, tail. It's just some cubes and a few wedges going up. Once again, really not that special. Just normal body gets the job done. The thing with this game though is I like there's a certain amount of space you can make your vehicles. A lot of these I like it to make I don't know five or six spaces longer, but the garage is either too small or I've used too many parts, so it's pretty dang hard to find a nice balance with these things. I know some people's are probably better, but they haven't post them up on YouTube. That's why I threw these up. Okay. Now with the tow bars and the uh, poles, that's supposed to be a rope because in the real Sky Crane it carries extremely heavy stuff like mobile homes, waters to put out forest fires, or tanks. I did tank because it makes the most fun. You know, that really looks like the claw from those claw machines where you try and grab the stuffed animals but you never can and that would screw you over. Okay, throw the claw down. Now, tank I had to make it extremely simple because of the amount of parts I had. 
Oh, hey. There's the top of it with the barrel and the gun. You have to have two detachers, though, so you're able to detach it from the rope. Unless you want to lug that giant thing around, then it won't be very maneuverable. So I highly recommend them. I have six high grip wheels on either side. And the body, it's really simple. Just a couple of wedges and cubes. Under it, I have like two super ammos, a seat, and two super engines. Oh, and a super fuel too. Nothing much. With this one, I originally made the multiplayer one. But I wanted to make this just to try it out. And it actually worked pretty well. Considering... Okay, inside, just do it however you want, don't have to put in any special place or order. As long as you have ammo, fuel, and engine. And the seat would always be nice. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the single player version. So, we're gonna go test it out. I mean, now, special editing. So I'll put the other and we'll test it out. Test the track. As I said, I really need to make the road or sh one space shorter. So I was doing exactly what I was telling you about hitting the rear rotor, tail rotor, as you'll see. Bam. If you make this, either change the place of the rear rotor or tail rotor, or make the main rotors longer. Ugh. My other helicopters with spinning rotors worked a lot better. This is the one that mainly hit over and over. Because I couldn't move it back one more space because the garage was too small. And if I made the rotors smaller, it looked weird. Someone signed in, blocking that. My gamer, gamer tag that way, but look at my friends list. Hopefully I didn't give you guys any ideas. <laughs> okay, driving the tank around. And I'm a really bad driver, considering considering I haven't played this game in a few months, so, yeah, that's my only excuse. Can't see in first person. I also found out tanks do not do loop-de-loops. Doesn't work. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the single player. Snap. Okay, here's the multiplayer version I was talking about earlier. Instead of a tank, it's basically just a tray with foldy wings that keep the vehicles in place. I had added small jets to give him more lift so he can carry the vehicles because it adds a lot of weight no matter what the size of the vehicle is. And that's pretty much it. Just basic body, upside down tray, and wedges. Just pause it if you need to get a better look, which I will need to. Don't forget to rate, comment if you want to subscribe. If you made this vehicle, please make a video response and see ya.